morning. We're heading to a uh, new skate park at Pasadena. Then uh, we're gonna go get some skating done. I'm feeling good today because my ankle's finally like allowing me to feel normal about getting on my skateboard because for months, like I got injured on Memorial Day, 30th of May. That was like at least four months ago. So official, like you know the date. Dude, right? yeah, I remember because yeah, it was a Monday Memorial Day when it happened, so. Yeah, so, uh, did you do like kickflips or anything like that hurt? Or is it like... No, everything's sweet now. It's just a few tricks where my ankles are like back this way. What tricks do your ankles go back that way? I mean like, like towards you this way. When your foot goes up like that. Oh, like when it, when it goes up. Yeah. So probably taking impact is not Yeah, the impact. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good. Nice. Really keen to skate. I was so sick last week, couldn't go skate. I really want to get backside blunts today. You know, we'll back, you never back one in a lunch? No. I've seen you do it on rails. Rail, parking curb, raised parking curb, and that's about it. Oh yeah, you've been on rails. Yeah. yeah, there's like a like a curb curb there. Oh really? Yeah, there's like a like a parking block thing, and then there's also a uh, like a curb, like it's like made up. It's it's a ledge, but it's like that weird in between of like. Oh. Uh, if this was in the street, I wouldn't film on it, but it's in a park. I'll call it a ledge. Yeah, I guess you, I guess you. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're just having a little sticky beak right now because we just rolled up to the park and it's got a bunch of fencing around it and it doesn't look like it's open. Brand new park just sitting in there waiting to be skated. But I don't know if it's open yet. Look at all these fences up. Not too sure what the deal is here. I was actually really keen to come out and skate today because A, I'm not injured anymore. B, it's not like 100 degrees out here. So it's sweater weather, you know? There's a nice breeze too, so you're not gonna get absolutely belted in the sun because skating in summer in California, it's hot. You really feel it at the end of the day. It's not like in Australia where you try to go out and skate in the middle of the day and uh, you can't get anything done. Like you can get stuff done here, but you'll feel it once you get home, you know? If you're sunburned, your eyes will be dry, your lips will be dry. So I think the plan is we're just gonna try get in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Some city workers around, like cutting grass and stuff, but fingers crossed we can get in here and get a session in, because it looks really fun. Yeah, we're in, boys, look. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely in, it's just a matter of- Can we stay in? Can we stay, can we stay under the radar? We'll no, see. I see that guy walking over, like in our direction. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, here it comes. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It looks like people have skated already, yeah. Someone's been here, check that out. Little bit of plywood on the bike rack there. Heavy El Sereno vibes. What do we got? Let's see if we get kicked out, let's do a quick tour. We got a quarter pipe. I think it's like a four foot to a five foot. A curb here, ledge, manual pad with an out ledge. That weird war ride thing that's like at El Sereno. Two hubbers, this down rail. A one, two, three, four, five set. And then a couple of flat bars, one here, one there. The fun box, a bank to ball, and then right at the other park end becomes a city worker right now. Well, you're right about it being empty. Yeah. But we'll see how we go with old mate right now. Maybe we can pay him off or something. Oh, well, he's just walking away. Might be okay. I saw him walking over here though. But he just. Maybe he was just assessing the situation. Yeah.
Yeah, you don't lift up. You gotta turn it to back 5 0 for the last second and then really? it's in control. Yeah. This is the biggest problem for me is trying to get into a feeble then get out correctly. I think the best thing you need to do is just try to get on a feeble at the very beginning of the rail and it's gonna force you to stand on top of it correctly. That's how I learned front 5 0s. I kept front 5 0ing the end of the rail, my board would flip over. The first time I tried to jump on at the beginning, fear puts you in the right spot. Oh, here we go. Try, try one. Few, I'll try a few more, like, Ooh. try a few more feebles and then. I try to do something else. I really want to back blunt something today. You're going to back blunt that ledge, but another thing that you're going to do is not avoid trying to feeble from the beginning of the rail at least once. At least once. I'll, it's scary. I... You don't need to land it. I just want to see you try one. All right. Let me go. go. Dude. <laughs> yeah, puts you in the right spot. That was fucking sick. You literally almost did it. Was that scary? Yeah, but not as scary as I would have thought. Yeah, I think you're gonna feeble the whole rail today. I hope so. Have you ever done that long of a feeble? Never. Well, yeah. you're going to. First, tee. First time, sorry. <laughs> Look at that new trick. Does it count? Yeah, it counts. <laughs> See, he counts it. How do you, you supposed to stand on it? Yeah, once you're on it, once you lock in like that, just stand up, pinch down hard on your heel, and just. You can pop over to either side you want. Aim just once you stand up, you're gonna be like, "Oh, this See, is the most cozy I ground." I got on, and then I decided to fall into that front smooth. Yeah, you were which, like leaning too far this yeah. way. You want to stand straight over top of it. If anything, you want to be more to the side that you came from. Oh, okay. Like, if oh, anything, and you kind of put your yeah, yeah. So lean mostly in the middle, but slightly to the your left side. Yeah. All right. This side. Yeah, we're going to like That was slowly away from the right out way. Yeah. You always had it. There it was. You're just like slowly being on the right side. You're just losing it a little bit less and less each time. Can I see one? Sometimes it helps. Trust. He said slot. He said slot in Australian. You got it. Next try. Lean even further to the left. Was I? You should lean even oh, further okay. to the left. I mean, that would have got the job done, but yeah. still go further. All right. That would you lean on the right side. You sat on the grind, perfect. You once, had, once you're in and you're there, it's it's quite like stable. Yeah, it's like the easiest grind to hold. Yeah, you know what makes me scared is like fumbling getting on, because that's happened heaps. Yeah. And then just, oh, when you're on, you can always step off. It's just the first part of like fumbling getting into the lock. And then when you, you learn that like even when you miss the lock on feebles and you end up in the board slide, it's still relatively safe. Yeah, you can just kick it. Yeah, so yeah. that was uh, feeble the whole rail. Was it the longest feeble you ever did? Pretty much, yeah. Do it again. Oh. Well, you got those down. All right, I just want you to try to lock into one feeble grind, lean super hard to that side, and try to pop out early. All right. Oh, you could totally do it. Once you make contact, like once your tail touches the rail, just the tip, you, just... you snap an ollie. If you think, like, if you try to lift up and just lift over, you're gonna drop into backsmith, and that's yeah, not what you want. You have to make your tail hit the rail. You have to. Literally make it hit the rail, but once it hits, it automatically pops you out. Just make right. it hit and you're out. Okay. Yeah, make that tail hit and it's over. Cozy. Do you have to push it in more? No, not really. That tail to like... Yeah, you just, you don't know. Yeah, look, you make it snap. There you go. Heel side. I yep, think. just like that. The sec, you don't even have to like think Ollie. Just make the tail touch the rail and it pops you over. Okay. Just crossing. Ugh. It looks like you're overthinking the pop out and not thinking about getting into it. Yeah. Like for feebles, most of the time I just think about getting into the feeble, and then once you stand on it right, you have room to play. All right. So it's about don't think about popping out. Think about I'm just getting to get the spot where. You, yeah. But like, I feel like I'm not. I'm like going like this. I'm thinking like. Yeah. 
You got it. I mean, you locked into a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make that tail smack and you got it. Remember that's how you used to do them when I met you? Yeah. You're like toe side people. Someone guy. told me that's how you lock it. But the only flat bar we had at the park was square. Still. Don't so. do that. <laughs> yes! My heel touched the ground, but whatever. I don't care, you learned a new trick. That was sick. It doesn't much feel like a pop out, it just feels like you're lifting it up. So I'm trying to learn how to do a backside blunt. Um I got into a couple of them on my little driveway box that I built, but I couldn't really slide them, so I'm gonna learn on this little baby ledge here. Big ledge. <laughs> I mean it's just bigger than a curb, so it's like it's like a ledge, man. You got it. You're still going a little toe side. Was that toe side? Yeah, dig in your heel a little more. You got it. Yeah, I'm telling them for blunt slides, you really want to dig your heel in, almost treat it like you're doing like a power slide, how you lean kind of heel side, kind of lifting your toes a little up in the air. Just makes it slide way easier. You got it. Like on a flat bar, you can get away with some toe side pressing, but on a ledge, you have to be like very heel heavy. Yeah, that looks sick on ledges. That's why I'm trying to up the yeah. game. And when I say like heel, I don't mean literally put your heel down. I just mean put pressure on the heel side of your tail. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't want to drag your heel. That's gonna make you stick. No, that'll, yeah, you'll stick. Yeah. There you go. Oh. De Give it a little half cab to get out of it. If you fall out, your board's gonna want to flip over. Your kick turning out, you gotta give it a little little pop. A little ollie. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. I mean you gotta do another one, but that was it. Ooh. Can I see? Yeah. You try to pop out early. Try one. That's a damn move. You're a Dan move. How do you do it? Just roof, roof it out. You just half cap. Just treat it like it's a quarter pipe. There you go. That was a good slide. You always think if you try to ride away going this way, your board won't flip over. If you try to ride away going that way, uh, your board flips over. So you're gonna come from the way you came. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. That was solid. I feel like when you pop and you're concentrating on like keeping your weight over away, yeah. you can kind of place it and then pull it out. Yeah, that's yeah, you keep your body weight on the side you came from. It's always yeah. the scary spot you want your body weight. Yeah. Cool. So we just finished up skating at the Pasadena, New Pasadena. Yeah. New Pasadena Skate Park. We're heading to Yard House right now to get a feed, trying to get some parking, and then we're going to enjoy some bottomless ref re refills at Yard House because this is America and you have bottom bottomless refills. So I copped a uh, Beyond Burger, some pickles, some sweet potato fries here, and Dan got a lobster. Noodle, what's this thing called? It's like a lobster seafood. Lobster seafood. Noodle it's, thing. It's fancy. Since yeah. YouTube, he's you know, been balling out. Lobster That's right, big stuff. balling. <laughs> Lately, I've been reading a lot of Thrasher since I've been sick at home and bored at, work, <laughs> bored at work. So I read Thrasher and read a, a article. Article, it's called? Yeah. Uh -huh. So in the articles, they ask questions. So what, what are three pet peeves that you hate about skateboarding? Number one, gatekeeping. Okay. So people like telling other people that skateboarding is this or skateboarding is that and putting their own identity on it and trying yeah. to paint the entire skateboarding world with that brush. Number two, thinking that because you skateboard you have like, is there something special about you? Like I think skateboarders tend to hold themselves higher in society than they actually are when it's like, yeah. okay, if you're the best skater in the world, you're probably only going to make minimum wage, like count the <laughs> fuck, like, like sit down. Yeah, skateboarding yeah. is the most fun thing in the world. It's fun, It's dude. the best. Yeah. I love it. But 
having like an ego about it is kind of crazy. Okay, yeah. Number three thing that I don't like about skateboarding is something as simple as like injuries. Yeah, you know? it's a big one. Like three pet peeves for skating for me would be like having blown out shoes like what we talked about earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Along with having a blown out deck. See, so I prefer, things. I like both of those things. Yeah, see, he's weird. He likes, he likes really broken in boards and shoes. If I go skating and I'm not completely into my outfit, like I feel uncomfortable in my outfit, it'll affect my skating. Does that happen with you? Like uncomfortable as in you don't like the way it looks? Like I step out the house and I'm wearing some clothes, I'm like, oh, this outfit sucks and it affects my skating. Well, That's I, mean, sec I don't think it's a surprise to anyone because I dress like a fucking homeless person. <laughs> But I, I don't I don't have that experience at all. But I will say in people because I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like caring yeah. about the way that you look and going skating, obviously it can make you feel a certain way. Yeah. And there's definitely been times where uh, you know, like I had like a new pair of pants that just like felt real crisp, and I was like, oh, I feel good. Yeah, you're feeling fresh. But I've never like changed an outfit to go skate or thought okay. like I'm gonna wear this to go skate. It's always like on shuffle. Like if I end up in an outfit I like, I end up in an outfit I okay. like. But I get it. I totally yeah. get it. It's yeah. just I don't. Yeah, he, yeah, see? Yeah. And the third for me would be hitting little, like, rocks. Oh, yeah, fart and rocks. And then, yeah, fart rocks and wheel bite, those two. Yeah. And suck. Yeah. Because everything else, like, like I experienced this morning, I haven't skated in a long time, and you're coming back for that first session, you're going to feel wobbly, you're going to feel loose, you're going to yeah. feel awkward. Then you, like, push through it, then you end up, you know, I had a really good session today. It's fun. Learn some stuff. Just before I let you guys go real quick, I was telling you about that I've been reading Thrasher more and Chima actually has a section in the last in the October issue of Thrasher and this spot here, he board slides through the kink. This is actually a spot in my hometown in Campbelltown. So it's sick to see Thrasher have a photo of a spot in Campbelltown. Not only do they have a photo of this spot and Chima skating it, it's in Chima's last part for Vans. I think it was called Nice to See You. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. It's legit all Sydney spots. Like he does that whole part and every single spot is in Sydney. So yeah, make sure you go and check it out if you haven't checked it out yet. One more quick thing before I let you guys go. We dropped some new shirts over at eveningmob.com. Got these uh, ladies of the evening here. They're online right now. Same with the tote bags, if you guys have seen the tote bags. But yeah, cheers for watching the video. I had an awesome session. I'm so glad to not be injured anymore to be able to go out and skate. So yeah, skate vlogs are coming back, guys. And then, um, yeah, if you're new here, subscribe. If you've been here, thanks for being here. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching the video. Like you